The second math example I want to talk about now is the commission split between the managing broker and you. And obviously, we could go back and do this again. $100,000 house. I am the managing broker. I decide to list it at 6%. That means the commission earned is $6,000. Now, half of that commission goes over to the buyer's agent commission. That half can be any number that I decide, 50%, 40%, whatever. I decide 50, so the other half comes to me as the managing broker. And then you and I are split on uh, this amount of money and we would split that. Let's say you are under a 50% commission as well. We would split that half and half, all right? So let's do an example. If I wanted to list a property at 5% and I'm going to give the BAC 50% of it and you and I are on, let's say we are on an 80-20 split, all right? Now, when you hear a split like that, automatically assume that you are the biggest percentage. I would love to be able to pay you a smaller percentage, but that ain't never gonna happen. So you are getting 80% of that. So my question is, what is your commission? What is your commission? All right, so the first thing let's look at, I guess we need a sales price in there. Let's make it a $200,000 sales price. All right, so the first thing we need to realize is the total commission I charged was 5%. That's 10 grand. I told you that I'm going to give away 50% of it to the BAC. So 5K goes over here. What happens? I have no idea. I don't care. Not my money anymore. 5,000 goes to the Modulin Group. And I told you that you are on an 80-20. Therefore, you get 80%. I get 20%. And your commission would be $4,000. It's virtually that simple to do. All right? That's all. If there's any other questions, feel free to email me, Raymond at realuniversity.com.